What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the ball joints on my 92 Super WX. So I did some research and the part numbers match for all Subarus, at least from what I found. So I just got ball joints for a 2002 WX and I'm going to hope that they fit. So let's get to that and let's see if we can get them out with ease. So right now I'm going to be doing the ball joints. They are right here. Um, I did the other side already, so I know what I have to do. You gotta undo this nut, pry down the arm a little. And for me, I couldn't get enough leverage to hammer down the control arm. And I have to remove these axles anyway to rebuild them. So I removed the axles. And then when you get this bolt out, there's a separation right here. I made sure to wedge my um, pry bar in there to relieve some pressure. I got this as hot as I could, and then I jacked up the entire hub by the rotor as I pried down on the arm itself. So just giving you a quick rundown before I get to it because I'm probably going to be stressed and not say anything I'm doing while I'm doing it. So that being said, let's get to it. There you go. Now we just have to knock off the cone itself from the ball joint to put on the new ones. Jesus Christ. Ow! Well, that's how you get it off. Hopefully you have a vice and two fucking pry bars. That's ridiculous. Fuck. Slice my finger open on something. God damn it. Ugh. Alright, so we saw this one come off. This one's been a pain in the ass. I've been letting it sit in PB Blaster. Um, I also heated up quite a bit, tried again, didn't work. So hopefully it comes off now. Also, I sliced my finger open, punching this basically. So I'm gonna put some cushions down right there and uh, give it another shot. And oh my God. Ugh. Ah! 
So whoever says all super ball joints are the same, it's not true. These are all supposed to be universal, supposedly, but that cone I went to put on didn't fit over this at all. There was so much play, and obviously that's not going to be good. We're on the ones that came off my car, it seats perfect. So these are not going to work. I'm going to have to find some that do work. Whether it's the same part number, just a different style, I, I don't know. But they are not all the same and now I gotta find the right ones alright so after a lot of research and much headache I found the correct ball joint as you see this one tapers a lot more than the other one did just coming straight off threads it gets super fat and then gets fatter again where the other one was straight all the way down these you can't buy from Subaru anymore um, I ended up getting these from AutoZone if you want, this is the part number for the uh, Dura Last ones. I mean, this is my only option here. Unless you go white line, but that's if your car is lowered. Mine is not, so I needed the stock length ones. Um, and then the cone that I was talking about that goes over this, this is the part number for that. Um, and this was from a 2014 STI, which doesn't make sense because the 2014 STI has this ball joint as well which is the year making model that I got from AutoZone. But from Subaru, it's superseded to the one that I had already bought and it doesn't work. So that makes no sense to me. And if you take a look, this cone fits nice and snug on here whereas the other one had a tremendous amount of play so you can't get your ball joints from Subaru if you have this car but let's go put this on so here's the one that came off my car like I said you can see how it tapers here's the one I got from Duralast basically identical the Duralast one looks a little deeper but that's no big deal as long as the cone fits so then it's gonna be a snug fit um, I still don't know how Subaru screwed that up so bad but go get yourself an aftermarket one that's your only shot so I cleaned it up a little bit and now I'm gonna spray it and then put some anti-seize in I might kill myself. I wasn't even 37 foot pounds and I fucking snapped the knuckle. So the ball joint is in. Went in fairly easy. That should be fine. Um, 
don't know if you can see. Come on. This side is also in. Um, but I cracked my knuckle. I actually snapped one of the ears off the knuckle. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. But I didn't do anything wrong taking them out or putting them in. So uh, I wonder if the car will still drive fine. We'll see. There you go, that's how you put ball joints in an O2 WX. So, if you're gonna do ball joints on your car, make sure you have a couple days because it is a pain in the ass. But um, this is the part number you need for that cone. This is the part number you need for the Duralast 2014 STI ball joint. But um, it's done, so good luck. That was a pain, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.